that was understood, whether you knew it or not, that as part of living, you're going to die. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. You are not going to escape it. You can bargain and argue and do it. You're going to go. That's what I mean in a contract. I don't mean you uh, signed anything. Let me tell you why I have a little bit of trouble with... Contracts? No, the uh, universal value oh. of some of the things that you're saying. I mean, you're offering these as, as oh. handy... Oh, handy guides. Handy I guides like to everybody else who's watching out well, there, right? And my guides. Your guides. Not necessarily theirs. I understand. And, and my problem with those is, and I'm not saying this now you know, to flatter you, but you're a charming, witty, intelligent mm -hmm. guy. You use, your, you use your brain. No, I'm not saying it to flatter you. There is, that's that. the way you've lived all your life. Right. And you're very fortunate because right. there, there, there is a pool of people out there who care enough about you that when you say, open up, let them in, right. there are people out there to be let in. The, you know, the folks I worry about are the lonely ones, the ones who don't have anyone to turn to, who maybe aren't able to put into words or even into thought right. the notions that you have expressed here today. What do they do? They're still facing death, and they don't have those tools to turn to. I don't know if I have any advice for them, Ted. All I can say is if you don't have any friend now, try to find one as a support group. If you don't have any sense of your uh, acceptance of this disease, try to accept it. I'm not that kind of a guru that I have an answer for everyone. So much of what I'm able to do stems from my previous life. All these years I've practiced meditation, I've been psychoanalyzed, I have a lot of sociological insight, so on and so forth. I take that all into my hands and into my heart. So I can't transfer or transpose that to the poor person on the street. I, that's not my responsibility. It's the responsibility of the society that does that to these people. So how can I say to them, do, do what I do? They don't have the resources. Or maybe they do and they don't know it. Maybe they can find them. But maybe I don't have much to say to them. Maybe I'm talking as a very fortunate person who's able to do this, and these people are not that fortunate. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's why I came here today to talk to you. Because, I mean, the one thing you left out in your, in your resume there a moment ago is you've been a teacher. That's right. All your life. All my life. And this, in a sense, is the biggest teaching assignment you've ever yeah, taken absolutely. on. Right? Absolutely. You're trying to help as many people as you can, That's right. even as you help yourself. Well, absolutely. All right. As you talk to people of different backgrounds, different intellectual backgrounds, different social backgrounds, yeah. different cultural backgrounds, yeah. what you and I are discussing here is the one thing Universal. That's universal. Absolutely. The one thing we're all going yeah. to have to confront. That's right. And what I'm looking from you, or looking for from you, Guru. Aive. Aive. <laughs> yeah. When you call me a guru. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm looking for here is a universal answer. Now, you know, maybe, right. maybe that's a little too tough for you there. The though, universal right? answer is this. If I had to give you one statement that people could work on, is accept what is. Accept what is. Do not fight what's going on. Accept it. And by accepting it, you might die with inner peace. But if you keep fighting it, you'll scream and rage like Dylan Thomas suggested. Rage, rage, rage at the dying of the light. Now, some people may want to die that way. That's OK. Other people may want to go crawl into a corner and die. That's OK, too, if that's the way they want it. I'm saying, if you don't know how you want to die, or if you feel the way you do know is not satisfying, then the most important principle is acceptance of your state, because that's who you are and what you are at that moment. Sure, the people who believe in the more conventional religious life I think they have a hard time. God's going to take care of them. But if you don't believe in that, what do you do? 
And one of the things I've said before, you know, it really doesn't matter what you believe, except insofar as you're getting comfort from it. Because whatever is going to happen, is going to happen. If there is a soul, you'll be a soul. If there is an afterlife, you go to the afterlife. Whether you believe it or not, doesn't make one iota of difference. I made a willful determination to call on all my resources to enable me to live with composure, as I put it. So far, I'm able to do it. Whether I'll be able to continue when that moment comes, I don't know. But I'm betting on myself that I will. I wouldn't bet against you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maury. You're welcome. Ted. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to I'm I'm come talk to you again. I hope you will. I hope that we can keep some contact. I hope so. Even though I know you're a very busy man, I'm a very unbusy man. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get busier, Maury. I'm sure. You're going to get I'm busier. I'm going to worrying about the and, aftermath. And with the passage of time, I know I'll get unbusier. Oh, so, good. Yeah. Good. That's getting wiser. All right. All right. Are we was, done? Yeah, we're done. People out there to be let in. The, you know, the folks I worry about are the lonely ones, the ones who don't have anyone to turn to, who maybe aren't able to put into words or even into thought right. the notions that you have expressed here today. What do they do? They're still facing death, and they don't have those tools to turn to. I don't know if I have any advice for them, Ted. All I can say is if you don't have any friend now, try to find one as a support group. If you don't have any sense of your uh, acceptance of this disease, try to accept it. I'm not that kind of a guru that I have an answer for everyone. So much of what I'm able to do stems from my previous life. All these years I've practiced meditation, I've been psychoanalyzed, I have a lot of sociological insight, so on and so forth. I take that all into my hands and into my heart. So I can't transfer or transpose that to the poor person on the street. I, that's not my responsibility. It's the responsibility of the society that does that to these people. So how can I say to them, do, do what I do? They don't have the resources. Or maybe they do and they don't know it. Maybe they can find them. But maybe I don't have much to say to them. Maybe I'm talking as a very fortunate person. I, that's not my responsibility. It's the responsibility of the society that does that to these people. So how can I say to them, do, do what I do? They don't have the resources. Or maybe they do and they don't know it. Maybe they can find them. But maybe I don't have much to say to them. Maybe I'm talking as a very fortunate person who's able to do this, and these people are not that fortunate. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's why I came here today to talk to you, because, I mean, the one thing you left out in your, in your resume there a moment ago is you've been a teacher. That's right. All your life. All my life. And this, in a sense, is the biggest teaching assignment you've ever yeah, taken absolutely. on. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. You're trying to help as many people as you can, that's right. even as you help yourself. Well, absolutely. All right. As you talk to people of different backgrounds, different intellectual backgrounds, different social backgrounds, uh, different cultural backgrounds, uh, what you and I are discussing here is the one thing that's universal. That's universal. Absolutely. The one thing we're all going yeah. to have to confront. That's right. And what I'm looking from you, or looking for from you, Guru, Aive. Aive. <laughs> yeah. You call me a guru. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm looking for here is a universal.